Grill Sergeant here. What's up, Grill Billies? Now, when you think about low and slow barbecue, what comes to mind? For me, it's always ribs. I love ribs. Man, I can do ribs every day. Today, I'm gonna show you how I do my ribs, and it is just fall off the bone, tender, as good as it gets. So let's fire up the smoker and let's start the show. So today we're doing what's known as 321 ribs. Now you might ask, why do they call it 321? It's making sure that you can count backwards starting from 3. Only kidding, what 321 ribs means is the 321 are actually hour marks. So the first 3 in the 321, that is basically 3 hours on the smoker with just your rub on it. Then the 2 is 2 hours wrapped in foil and you're going to basically include brown sugar, butter, honey a little apple juice in there. And then the last hour is unwrapped. You're gonna just sauce it up a little sauce just to caramelize on there. And that is basically how you're gonna do three, two, one ribs. Now I'm gonna be using my Pit Boss vertical smoker, but you can pretty much use any grill you have, whether it's pellet, offset, stick burner. So whatever grill you're using, you're gonna wanna make sure it stays in the 250 degree range. Now, before I get started, I just wanna make sure I have pellets in the hopper, my water pan is full, and my dial setting here is set to smoke. I'm gonna open the door and I'm gonna turn the smoker on. All right, let's talk ingredients. The main thing we're gonna start with is ribs. For this method, I do like using St. Louis style ribs. From there, you're also gonna need to use butter. Typically, it's about one stick per rib that you're gonna do. You're also going to be using some brown sugar. You got some honey, apple juice, and the apple juice is basically gonna be used for two things. It's one, gonna be used to spritz down the ribs, and then also we're gonna put a little apple juice in the foil to help basically steam the ribs when that's all prepped. We also are going to be using mustard at the beginning. Now, as far as rubs, we got two here that actually just came out I'm very excited to use. This one is Uncle Steve Shake. This one is his sweet and spicy. Uh, he just came out with this one and I cannot wait to try it on these ribs. The other one is by Kettle Freaks and this is a company they started called 12 Gauge Barbecue and this one's called the Tiger King. And so man, I cannot wait to try these two. Uh, you will need a spritzer bottle and I'll fill this with apple juice. Uh, and you also will need some heavy duty foil that when we wrap the ribs. All right, so let's get started and let's dig in. All right, let's prep rib number one. Right on her. One thing I like doing is actually taking a paper towel. The reason why I'm doing this is so that when we put our binder on, the rub will stick. If there is a membrane on yours, you will need to pull that off. So once you got a good grip on it, basically just pull back and it should, oh, ooh, just like that. Beautiful. All right, so now I'm gonna take my mustard here, just a little bit. And again, isn't going to affect the flavor. Promise you on that one, pinky promise. But it is going to help the rub that we put down bind to the rib. So now we are going to take our Uncle Steve shake, sweet and spicier. We're just going to put a nice coating down. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little pat down here. Let's flip it over. Beautiful, let's prep the second rib. All right, through the power of editing, I won't make you watch the prepping of this. Now, rumor has it, this was the last thing that Carol's husband ate before he got eaten by a tiger. Now, isn't it ironic that of all the things that have happened in 2020, Tiger King seems to be like the most normal thing that happened? Isn't that crazy? That's insane. Beautiful. All right, let's get these on the grill. The smoker's at 250, and I'm gonna put both racks in right now. Now is when the three hour mark and the three, two, one ribs start. First one, we'll put, all right, second rack. 
We are at the half hour mark. So now we are going to spritz down those ribs. And you don't need to go crazy on the spritz. Just You're just basically just trying to keep it from drying out. Ooh, that looks good. That's it, and we'll come back in 30 minutes and spritz. All right, now's the time that I like to kick back and crack a cold one. Today's beer is by Stone. This one is called Peak Conditions Hazy Double IPA. I love hazy beers, you all know that, and I've never seen a double, so I'm actually really, really excited about this one. Let's crack this open. Cheers, guys. Well, I think I just found my new favorite IPA. I kid you not, this is amazing. So I did want to announce that I now have a merch store. I've had a few of you reach out saying, hello, where's the Grill Billy merch? Where's the Grill Sergeant merch? And I'm like, all right, all right, all right. I've been putting it off way too long. I'm so sorry, okay? I will put a link in the description. So check it out. Let me know in the comments which one you think is the funniest. And probably when we hit 3,000 subscribers, I'll do a giveaway. Well. It's been another 30 minutes, so let's spritz some ribs. All right, we are an hour and a half in, spritzing every 30 minutes. So we have another hour and a half to go, but man, oh man, these are looking good. All right, we are at the three hour mark. All right, for the butter, you basically want to cut it into six slices. So the first thing I wanna do is lay down a layer of brown sugar, three pieces of butter. Then we're going to take our honey. So here we have our first one, which is the Uncle Steve's. That color on that is looking beautiful. We are going to flip it upside down and they're gonna go back in the smoker with the bone side sticking up. And the reason for that is when we put down the apple juice in here and it's basically doing the steaming process, all of that is gonna soak into that meat and basically make it super tender. We're gonna do this now to the next side. Take our brown sugar, our butter, lay that down, our honey, and then lay down nice coating on there is remember that apple juice and then just put a little on the bottom right there not a lot just a little now we are going to wrap these ribs up Very good just like that and you basically just want to make sure you wrap them nice and tight so now let us do the second rib here is our second rack this is with the Tiger King rub. All right, she is wrapped. We'll put them on meat side facing down. Can you believe it? We're at the halfway mark. And I'm telling you, six hours does seem like a lot of time, but it goes by like that. This is probably the easiest part because it's literally, there's nothing you have to do. Just make sure you have pellets in the hopper. Just make sure there's water in the water pan and make sure your temperature is set. You could pretty much walk away, set it, and forget it. Home stretch, and this is probably my favorite part. This is where you really start seeing how good these ribs look. And what you're gonna notice here is you're gonna start seeing that nice pullback on the ribs. It's gonna be very, very tender. Let's flip it around and see the other side. Look at that, it's already breaking apart. Look how, oh my gosh, look how beautiful that looks. Okay, so this one is the Tiger King one. I'm gonna put this back on the smoker. Here is our second rack. This is the Uncle Steve goodness. I mean, look at that. Look at the bones. They are just like, let me be free. So, I mean, we're talking, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm literally trying to be dealt, look at that, like a bone already fell off, good Lord. So this trick I learned from Daddy Dutch Barbecue. Pick your barbecue sauce, so we're going to put Sweet Baby Raisin here. And if you incorporate the, uh, the, basically the leftover goodness that is left over inside, it helps water down um, the barbecue sauce and not make it as thick, but it packs it also with lots and lots of flavor in there. I'm telling you, if you try it this way, you will never, ever, ever make barbecue sauce any other way. Let's sauce these ribs up. We have probably about another half hour to go. And what we wanna do is basically just get a light 
saucy goodness coating on them and that's going to help caramelize darken up and I mean this is just going to bring so much flavor so I'm going to check back in about a half hour what I'm looking at is for them to get to an internal temperature of ballpark around 200 ladies and gentlemen hot diggity dang Come on now, come on. Now Carol, if you're watching this, if you confess, I will give you a rack of ribs. All we need is a confession. I mean, good Lord. Look at the smoke ring in there. Look at the bark on that bad boy. That is beautiful. And here comes Uncle Steve. Man, oh man. Looking good. There we go. Ooh. Look, I mean, look at that. Look at that beautiful. Oh my goodness. Got a great bark going on here. Nice glaze to it. Look at that smoke ring up in there. All right, guys, this is it. This is the best part about 321 ribs is when they're done and we get to taste test. Here you go. See you try. Oh, you want me to hold it for you? All right. All right. It's a little hot? Um, hot and some salt in it. Some salt in it? Here, put that down. Now let's try this one. Oh, he's finishing that. Hmm. Hey, honestly, whoever you cook the ribs, if your kids eat it, you won half the battle there. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to rib B. So here you go, Ezra. Take it. Here you go. It's it's B C N T. Okay, here we go. You ready, Az? Okay. Green mm. was mild and the, the best. You like blue the green one? Was the best. It was very mild. And you like the blue? Okay, this one is Uncle Steve's. Sweet and spicy are. Remember the one that it's sweet and then it slaps you in the face? Mm -hmm. That's this. Nope, do not think about it. Only Uncle Steve Shake can do that. This one is the Tiger King Shake. They're both, they're both really good. If you like your ribs to have like a little bit of oomph to it, you know, you still got that sweet and savory, but then a little kick to it, the sweet and spicy are is definitely the way to go. But if you're looking just for like a flavor blast and not too much heat behind it, this Tiger King is so, so awesome. So I'd say if you got kids and you don't want to bring a lot of spice to the palate, Tiger King, oh my gosh. Man, if only we can get Joe Exotic here. He would go nuts over this one, I'm guaranteed. <laughs> All right, guys, hey, you guys want to you know, close out the show? <laughs> guys grill sergeant thanks for watching thanks for sticking with us leave a comment hit that like button subscribe button bell button and i'll catch you guys in the next one all right peace it is so crisp and refreshing and the scary thing is this is going to creep up on you because it's over eight percent so you think like oh it's a great summer beer you know kicking back and then two or three of these later and you're on the ground. <laughs> For those of you out there that have actually tried the spicier, this is one step above and it's basically the spicier with a little sweet kick to it. And so I thought, man, on ribs, this must be perfect. And this one, I mean, come on, Tiger King. Are you kidding me right now? It says here, Tiger King roast that now, don't worry, for the kids at home, I didn't say I said itch, but if I make the sound in front of itch, it sounds like I'm saying 
and I'm just saying itch. Seriously. I don't cuss, man. That's just me. Like, it, I don't know. It's just weird. I guess my parents always taught me. If you're cussing, that just shows you don't know other words to use. And I'm like, huh. And that stuck with me. So, you know, just to make it funny, I'll throw in a... Eat the blue one, not the green one. Oh my gosh. If you eat the green one, you'll pee in space. If you eat the green one, you'll pee in space. But I'm wondering if the tiger used this on Carol's dead husband, huh? You always gotta think about that. You know, you know those tigers ate them. Come on, ain't no one go missing. Carol Baskin, if you are watching this, come on now. Let the world know, we won't even be mad. The funny thing is, this is 2020. Tiger King was the most normal thing to actually happen so far in 2020. So you could literally come out and be like, yep, you know, I did feed them to the tigers. And we'd be like, huh, that's actually more sane than currently what's going on around us. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. So come on, let's, let's just be open and honest here.